I do mainly rehabilitation, that's dealing with chronic illness and with neurological problems. Um, I do have a practice of my own, but it's very small, so usually I have patients referred to me for my advice as to what should be done. That keeps me busy. Mm -hmm. I enjoy my practice very much. I meet some very interesting people. And uh, my wife died 15 years ago, so I, I keep busy. Now I have a pretty active family as well, and I still do a lot of traveling. As a matter of fact, I'm amazed that I wake up every morning. That's what it amounts to. But uh, uh, the secret is uh, parents and porridge. Pick your parents and eat porridge every day. I haven't overeaten, I haven't overdrunk, so I think a, a middle way is the best way to manage. I have three legal children, I won't talk about the other ones. I have, a, oh, half a dozen grandchildren and uh, four great-grandchildren. I have so many fondest memories that interferes with my life these days because I'm doing something and I suddenly think that reminds me and I sort of go off on that little train for a while. Well home means uh, all my memories, that's where all my memories are. It's very important I keep them very close to hand. Of course I need a bigger and bigger house all the time because I'm getting more and more memories and I can't throw anything out. It's amazing I've been in this area for number of years. Uh, even earlier I sold papers up at the corner of uh, Church and Brewer and uh, when I was uh, 14 or 15. Used to get the one-way streetcar, came up Church Street, uh, led off the business, mainly men, very few women, and the Toronto Scar, Star had sent up a truck meanwhile because the final edition was out and they'd buy the Star for me at two cents. So that was pretty good. Uh, the, the world is there's so much information now. I'm concerned with quantum theory, and I just can't quite grasp it. Facebook. No, I avoid that. And I avoid Twitter, is it? Yes. I don't need them. I'm busy enough with my email. I think I age happily because I keep busy. That's the important thing. I'll have a glass of wine twice a week, and that's all I need. I quit smoking at midnight on my 40th birthday. Don't give up the fight. Although there are thousands of nasties out there, even one person standing up may make it shot or killed or what have you on the basis. But stick to your point and make sure you're st standing up for the right. Uh, don't accommodate any of those people who sort of try to persuade you that their scheme is better than you, the scheme that you know is right. That may sound as though you're being a bit um, of a <clears throat> um, closed mind person, but I just think that once you've decided on your path, you stick to it. We'll see what happens. I haven't followed my path yet, so.